Hello everyone, welcome to this week's video announcements. I um, I have so much to tell you about this week. Um, but let me start with um, what's coming up this weekend. Um, on Saturday, if you're around for the long weekend, our UU hikers are going to be um, hosting a hike at Purgatory Falls. Um, it'll start at 11 a.m. And you should bring a lunch um, so you can meet at Purgatory Falls at 11 a.m. Um, and I'll put a link in the comments to more information about Purgatory Falls. Um, Katie and Caitlin Durgan are organizing the hike, uh, and they would love to have you join them. On Sunday, I'm so excited. It is our first uh, outdoor animal blessing in quite some time. I'm going to say three or four years. Uh, we did an animal blessing on Zoom um, during COVID, and, and that was also lovely. Uh, but this is going to be our, um, our first outdoor one we've done in a while. So really excited for that. Um, it is going to be an in-person only service. So if you're someone who usually joins us on Zoom, um, know that this service is happening only in person. So if you're able to, if you're nearby and can come join us in person, I encourage you to do so. Um, and if not, we'll be back on Zoom next week. Um, and what this means, we are outside so that you can bring your animals to be blessed. Uh, and we have had all kinds of different animals come in the past. A lot of dogs, a couple cats, some lizards, some fish, uh, even some compost worms that we have blessed. So we offer blessings to whatever animals you want to bring. Um, the service will take place out in the Grove Street parking lot. And part of what that means is that um, the whole inside area, the fence will be closed. You won't be able to park in there. But the outside area of the Grove Street parking lot um, will be all, all accessible parking. Um, uh, so... Uh, if you are able to walk a little further, um, park over in Margaritas, park up on the hill, um, we're going to reserve the lot for accessible parking. Um, and uh, right now, it doesn't look like there's a much chance of rain on Sunday, so fingers crossed it stays that way. Um, we will also have uh, fellowship hour outdoors, uh, so we'll just get to hang out in the Grove Street parking lot. Uh, we'll have some uh, we'll have some water bowls for your animals as well. Um, and to make this all happen, we would love some extra setup and cleanup help. Um, we have to kind of move everything outside to make outdoor worship happen. Um, and so we have a sign up genius put together um, for some extra help. Um, and I will put that link in the comments. Uh, if you're able to come early or stay late, that would be amazing. Um, and Caro is leading the service. So uh, get excited to bless some animals with Caro and our worship associates this weekend. Um, and I hope you'll I hope you'll join us. Uh, coming up next week, we are entering the season of like end of the year church stuff, right? And the first thing, the first end of the year church thing is our um, our somewhat annual budget and brownies event. Now back back with brownies. Um, so we this is the time when um, I will present the budget. Um, it'll be a similar presentation to the one I give at annual meeting, perhaps a little more in depth. For this conversation and it'll be your opportunity to ask questions about it um, so if you want to get briefed on the budget and ask questions before our annual meeting this is your time to do so it will be next tuesday a week from today may 30th at 7 p.m we will gather in the dining room and uh, you can also join on zoom um, although we can't give you any brownies over zoom but uh, in the dining room with brownies or on zoom with your own treats at home uh, you are welcome to join um, um, and it'll start at 7, and it'll go for however long your questions last. Uh, my presentation will probably be, you know, 15, 20 minutes tops. Um, so would love to see you there. I love talking about the budget. Um, I love it when people are interested and have questions and are curious. Um, so would love to see you then. Uh, the next kind of end of year thing happening is we are having an end of the year picnic at Greeley Park. Um, there will probably be a sign up genius coming out about that later this week. We'll be serving sandwiches and inviting you to bring side dishes. 
Um, we'll serve sandwiches and ice cream, and you can bring side dishes. Um, it'll be 11.30 June 4th, so kind of after the service over at Greeley Park. They'll also need some setup and cleanup help for that. Uh, we got a great p- group of people planning it, including some games. Um, so I think it's going to be really fun. Uh, hope you'll have put that on your calendar. Um, June 5th, the next day, Monday evening at 7.30, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're hosting a meditative music vespers at 7.30 in the sanctuary. It is uh, going to be led by um, a musician from Hollis, uh, Christopher Volpe, um, and his group is Hyponova, and they create ambient music soundscapes. Um and are going to be leading a Vespers style um, service that'll mostly be music um, and it'll be really different from what we do on Sunday mornings. So I um, hope you might join us that night. Uh, It'll probably be, it won't be super long, so uh, it'll be probably 7.30 to 8 or so. um, And I, yeah, I hope you'll join us. Um, June 10th, uh, we're going to be kicking off a um, our outdoor summer playgroup that we've done the past couple years. Um, and uh, they can be kind of, you know, it, it, we, we're not strict about what age the kiddos are as long as they're um, willing to be around little ones. Um, we are going to start June 10th, 3.30 to 5, and then we have on the calendar um, July 15th and August 15th. Fifth, I believe, are the other dates that we're going to do. Um, and they'll all be 3.30 to 5. This first one we're going to hold in our outdoor um, front playground at the church, um, which is a great space for kind of zero to seven-year-olds. Um, but I am positive that older kiddos could have fun there as well. Uh, and hope, hope I might see you on June 10th. June 11th is our flower communion service and our annual meeting, so mark your calendar to stay after church. We'll serve lunch for those of you in person. Um, You can also join on Zoom, and you're able to vote and everything on Zoom as well. I'll put the link in the comments for where to register for Zoom. June 17th, we're just, we got a lot going on in June. June 17th is Caro's ordination, which is so exciting. Um, we will be co-ordaining Caro with another congregation from Maine. Um, and it'll be hosted here at UU Nashua, 3 p.m. June 17th. I'll put the link in the comments where you can register. Uh, it's going to be a great celebration of Caro's ministry. Um, and so good to um, get to make it official, to make them officially a reverend. Um, a couple couple more things. Uh, one is uh, kind of a long save the date, but you got to sign up now. Um, we have some folks who are organizing a church camping trip. It's just going to be one night at Greenfield State Park um, in August. It's the very last weekend of August. Um, I believe it's August 26th. Uh, uh, 26th or 27th, 26th to the 27th. Um, If that is a Saturday to Sunday, that is when it will be. Um, We reserved a group campsite, um, and there are 25 spots on that, but they're pretty quickly filling up. So um, there are also a bunch of, um, you you know, you can get an individual campsite there as well. So we can have more than 25 people. You just will have to get your own campsite. but it should be um, it should be a fun time. Uh, really excited about it. You can reach out to um, Sadie if you want to be connected to the group that is um, organizing that. Um, and finally, our General Assembly delegates are going to go to the UUA's General Assembly at the end of June, and they would love your input on one of the things that will be up for vote. Um, so you can read more about it. I'll put the link. It's it's um, Article 2 of the UUA bylaws, which is where our principles and sources are right now. Um, and it is a pretty big revision to those. We've been talking about it some at church. Um, and we just have a l- real short, like, two-question survey um, and would love your input. So I will put that link in the comments as well. Um, and I know that was a lot. Thank you for listening all the way to the end. You're the best. Um, and uh, I will uh, be back with more reminders and announcements next week. Um, but in the meantime, um, I hope you enjoy this beautiful spring weather. I hope you get some time to be out in it this this long Memorial Day weekend coming up. Um, and hope we'll see you at church soon. <laughs>